Hello sports fans, welcome to the next edition of the Southern Maryland Blue Crab Spotlight for 2010. I'm Joe Cross from Charles County Government Television. We've got a packed show for you today. We're going to start off with some highlights from the first workout that the Crabs did this season. Then we're going to jump to some media day interviews that I did with some of the players and Coach Bush Hobson. And from there, we're going to go to highlights of the very first exhibition game for the 2010 season. So here we go with sights and sounds from the first workout of the 2010 Southern Maryland Blue Crabs. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. All right, welcome back to the show, sports fans. I'm back here at the Regency Furniture Stadium for media day. And we're gonna have a lot of the players on here, some of the coaches, and uh, we're just gonna have a good old time. My first guest today is Jason Funkhauser. And he's a local guy from Crofton. Jason, welcome to the show. Thanks, thanks a lot. All right, now, you just came out to the tryouts that they had on April 10th, and um, they invited you to come on back and uh, do the tryouts. Yeah, um, you know, came here, uh, caught, hit a little bit. Um, coach pulled me aside, said, you know, he might want to invite you to spring training. I yeah. thought, you know, that's pretty cool. You yeah. know, I was, I was pretty excited for it to begin with, and then, um, you know, called me back in his office and said, you know, you're invited, and, yeah. you know, I was pretty excited, so. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. Uh, now, you're, I uh, say you're originally from Crofton, and you still reside there? Yeah, I commute from there. And uh, your uh, baseball was uh, Hagerstown Community College? Yeah, I was going to Hagerstown in the uh, fall, and then um, I was playing fall ball there, and then uh, 
I just stopped doing that and I started working full time at uh, at uh, Gold's Gym uh -huh. and working on a farm and doing. Yeah. So I was just working, just straight working for uh, you know two three months, and um, my dad's friend you know told me to come out and try out for this team, and that's how it all got started. Yeah, that's how it all began. Yeah, it's got to be a thrill to be out here and you know being invited back after. How many people do you think showed up for the tryouts? I think there was like 36, 37 people. Really? That showed up. Yeah, and they selected uh, you and uh, a couple other guys. Yeah, a few guys. Three, yeah. three, four guys. Yeah, and there's another another guy from Waldorf. We're gonna try and get him on, yeah. on today too, and, uh -huh. and see what uh, what his story is. But uh, yeah, we're glad to you know, glad to have all you guys back. Cause we've been waiting all winter for yeah. spring training to open up, so we can come you know come back out here again. But uh, you know, glad to see you, and we wish you well in the season. We hope you hang around. Yep, thanks a lot. All right, that's Jason Funkhauser. All right, here's our next guest on the Southern Maryland Blue Crab Spotlight. All right, here's my next guest on the Southern Maryland Blue Crab Spotlight. It's Ben Sobachinski, and he's a Waldorf native. Welcome to the show, Ben. Thank you. Uh, appreciate you coming on. Now, you were another, we talked to uh, Jason, and he was uh, a walk-on uh, that was invited back to uh, spring training, and you did the same thing. You came out to the tryouts on April 10th, and they invited you back for spring training. Correct. That must have been a heck of a thrill when you it had was... the phone call. Well, actually, it was even better. Butch came up to me uh, during one of the BP rounds, and mm. you know, he was asking me questions like, you know, where, where he went to school, you know, graduated, you know, and then he said, you know, I'd, I'd like to bring you on for spring training. I mean, to have him, him actually come up to right. you and, and say it rather, you know, getting a phone call from someone. Yeah. I mean, that that was really something. Yeah. You know, to have a, a manager played in the big leagues, managed in the big leagues, come over to you and yeah. and give you an opportunity like that. That's uh, that meant a lot more. Yeah, and uh, you live in Waldorf. You were born where? Born in uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. And when did you come up here? Uh, we were up here in uh, we were in Potomac in the 1990, and then we moved down to Waldorf in '91. So yeah. I've been here ever since. Yeah. And uh, what's your specialty on the field? Uh, middle infielder, uh, second base, left hand hitting. So uh, adds a little different uh, look. Right. But, uh, now uh, your baseball resume. Um, University of Hartford. Correct. Uh, and you graduated from there, and uh, what position did you play for them? I played all over there for them. Uh, my first year I played seven different positions from in the outfield, and uh, but then settled into more of a second base shortstop role later on, and then even even made it into the starting rotation my, my senior year. So yeah. I was bouncing all over the place. Whatever they needed, they just plugged me in, and, and we went like that. Right. I mean, did you try to... Uh, Further your baseball career before coming here for the tryouts? Uh, I was I was looking. I really didn't. I didn't get picked up. I didn't know. Uh, didn't get anything in the draft. But I was still looking for some kind of tryouts or anything. And then uh, nothing had really come up. So it was just you know working, still uh, playing summer ball in the men's league, local men's league. So yeah. just trying to stay sharp. And once I saw the tryout, I said, hey, why not give it a chance? Hey, that's good. Well, I tell you, it's glad, we're glad to see some local guys. Having the chance to uh, yeah, to make the team, so if you make it, we're gonna we'll follow you <laughs> throughout the season and uh, report great. back to everybody how the how the local guys did. <laughs> That's great. That's great. All right, Ben. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank hey, you very good much. Good luck. We hope you, you. We hope you get to hang around with yeah, us. I hope so too. All right, all right. That was Ben, and here's our next guest on the Southern Maryland Blue Crab Spotlight. And my next guest on the Southern Maryland Blue Crab Spotlight is starting pitcher Dan Reichert. Dan. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank good you. To good see to see you again. Good to, good to be here. You were here in uh, 2008 for the inaugural season, just for a little while. So tell us about that <laughs> and where, yeah, you, was, where you've been since you took, you know, since you got picked up. Right. Uh, yeah, I was here uh, here the first year. Uh, the the Blue Crabs were in existence. Uh, Butch called me up and said, "Hey, you know, we got a new team starting in Maryland," and I was like, "Okay, well, Butch, if you're the manager, I'll I'll come play for you." Yeah. Uh, you know, next thing I know, we're you know opening up the big the big gates out there in uh, left field beyond the beyond the big wall, and we come running out. There's fireworks, and you know, people <laughs> all over the field. Yeah. Uh, you know, great great to be part of uh, you know the first year, uh, you know, of, of the Blue Crabs. Uh, it was a great year. Uh, I was fortunate enough uh, to get picked up. Uh, by the Cleveland Indians about a month into the season. Yeah. Went to uh, Buffalo, which was AAA for them. Uh, after about, I think it was about a month and a half, maybe two months, uh, I was in the trade with Xavier Nady and uh, Jason Bay, kind of when that whole trade scenario, mm -hmm. you know, whirlwind of, of players went around. I was one of the players to be named later. Yeah. 
<laughs> so I got traded over to the Pittsburgh organization, finished yeah. up in, uh, with a, the with a Pittsburgh, uh, the Pirates minor league teams right. down there. So, so you it, was, were, you were it here, was a good year, yeah. Yeah, you were here a little bit in 08. Mm -hmm. You were gone in all of 09, and now you're back in 2010. Yep. I'll tell you, we're, we're glad to have you back because the other day we were out here watching the pitchers, you know, we were standing behind the, the batter's cage. And I mean, you guys have got some speed. <laughs> I don't think I could hit any of you guys. <laughs> well, we'd love to have you come stand in if you well, want to. We'll get one you of these days I'm going to do that. I'm going to get in that batting case just for the show. But I, th I think maybe I'll just hit against Butch Hobson. Yeah, there you go. I don't go. think I could. The ball would be in the catcher's mitt before I'd even start swinging. Oh, we'd, we'd take it easy on you. You know, maybe the first couple, we'd, you know. We'd, okay, well, maybe five, like, so I can just watch. Yeah, there you go. And, and we'd be ready to jump out of the way. We'd spin a couple hard ones at you, but after that, we'd back off and, okay. and, and let you get some. Now, you were born in... Uh, Monterey, California, yep. and you still live in Turlock, California. Uh, my, my parents still live in Turlock. Uh, actually live out in Lincoln, Nebraska now. Oh, ah, okay. So I've kind of... kind of still, still a pretty good commute, though, when you want to go home. Yeah, yeah. So I kind of migrated from, you know, being a California, you know, person out of the Midwest, and I'm on the East Coast. Yeah. And, well, you get you know, to see, all, like the Navy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You get to yeah, see the world. <laughs> yeah, yeah, constantly, uh, you know, traveling. But, you know, yeah, make my, make my home in uh, Lincoln, Nebraska now, so... Big, uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say a big Cornhusker fan. I guess I'm kind of a transplant yeah. Cornhusker fan. But so, so did you hook up with a local family for for residing? No, know? bought a uh, bought a house in Lincoln. Oh, no, so, I mean here. Oh, 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 for here. Yeah, yeah, staying with uh, with Bob. Okay. With uh, Patrick Ryan also is uh, he's he's one of the other guys staying in the house there. Mm -hmm. You know, so far Bob's been great to us. Uh, Patrick and I went out the other night with him uh, looking for deer. Yeah, so hey, well, there's, there's plenty of those around. Here. Yeah, so he was he was <laughs> driving around showing us, you know, all these fields where all these deer are, and we finally saw a couple. And yeah, we have know. we have. If you want to see deer, we get the, the soybeans planted around oh, our yeah. house. Oh yeah, it, it's just herds of them out Lots there eating of the soybeans. Them, yeah, so yeah, they, big they you know big big hunter you know during the off season. You know, it's, you know, a lot of downtime and stuff like that, you know, during the wintertime, you know, it's right, you know, right at the height of, you know, hunting season. Right. So, you know, being out in Nebraska, we get some, some good deer out there. So there I'm go. always, I'm always scouting for deer, <laughs> no matter where I go. Well, you'll see plenty of them around here. <laughs> All right, Dan, it's good to have you back. Yeah, uh, you too. Really glad. Thank you. Uh, Thank watch, you. Watching the website, you know, they say this got signed, this got signed. It's like, hey, Dan's coming back. Yep. Uh, yep. And we knew how good you were before they, uh, picked you up the last time right. so yeah it's good to have a blue crabs uh uniform and there you go and seeing seeing all the uh all the guys that you know i've, I've played with you know in the past and yeah. you know guys i've played against with so should be should be a good year this year yeah well i'll tell you the team looks impressive yeah it's going to take me a while to get used to knowing who everybody is because there's only like six people from last year that are right. here so right i've got to right. learn all you guys yeah you know when, you know we're sitting in the clubhouse and whatnot you kind of scan around the clubhouse you know looking at the different guys okay now that guy's name was this and you know <laughs> this guy man i can't remember his name but you know sooner or later i'll hear it you know you know every every year when you go to a go to a new team you know it's 25 you know yeah. new guys you know that you have to learn so it, it takes about a week you know to get everybody's name down but once you get their names down you know it's yeah because it's funny when i was standing behind the batting cage and i forget who was pitching I asked one of the one of the guys. I said, "Who's that pitching?" He said, "I don't know." I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so that's, I, I guess that's the only the only bad thing about coming yeah. to a new team is you've got to learn. Well, I'll learn. Know, I'll learn as we as we do more interviews. Oh, yeah. then, uh, oh, yeah. then I'll know uh, who yeah. everybody is. Yeah. All right, Dan. No doubt. Thanks again for All coming right, on the you. show. Yep. All right, that's Dan Riker. All right, here's our next guest on the Southern Maryland Blue Crab Spotlight. All right, welcome back to the show. My next guest is Kenny Rayborn, a starting pitcher. He was here in 2009. Got shipped out to Taiwan, but now he's back. Kenny, hey. welcome back to Southern Maryland Blue Crabs. Thanks. Now, give us uh, some of your background. Uh, you've been around for a while. You played on a lot of different teams in a lot of different countries. Tell us about that. Um, well, I went to the University of South Alabama. Um, uh, came out in '97. Um, got drafted by the Red Sox. Uh, went as a free agent to the Mariners in '99. Played there, 99, 2000. Um, I'm sorry, I went to the Mariners in 2000, 2000, 2001. Played with them. Um, played independent in uh, 2002 and 2003. Um, part of the way through the season, 2003, I got picked up by Cleveland. Uh, played with them until 05, and uh, halfway through the season, I went to Japan uh, in Hiroshima. And then uh, played the whole 2006 season in Taiwan, 
uh, signed with a, signed a two-year deal with a uh, Korean club, played 0708 there, and then uh, came here in 09. Now, you were here for a little while in 09, and then you got picked up by, uh, you went to Taiwan again. Now, was that for the same team you played for the first time you were there? No, it was, it was a different team. Different team. Uh, yeah. I know we, we tried to follow his career over there, but we couldn't. Couldn't read it because it was in, uh, I guess you call it Taiwanese? It's Chinese. Chinese. Right. Yeah. That's right. Chinese Baseball League is what it's called. Oh, yeah. I mean, Taiwan. I mean, the people in Taiwan are Chinese. Yeah. But yeah. Anyway, I don't yeah. know <laughs> the whole history of that, but I do know they speak Chinese. They, meet, they yeah. speak Mandarin Chinese. And, yeah. And how, did you, how did you make out? Did you ever learn uh, how to speak? We have an a interpreter. I learned, I learned a few words. Yeah. Um, Chinese is obviously pretty hard. Yeah. Um, it's actually really hard. Korean is, it doesn't seem like it'd be hard, but it is hard. Japanese yeah. is, Japanese is not that hard. Yeah. Um, it's kind of similar to Spanish. Yeah. But, uh, How's it feel to be back in good old Southern Maryland again? I, I enjoy it here. I, I like being in the woods. I know you don't yeah. just, like consider it the woods, but hey. you know, I, I do. I, I'm I, from the country. I'm I born like and it. raised here, so this, this is what I like. <laughs> it's close enough to the city to be yeah. considered a city, but right. you know, you, there's trees everywhere. Right, so close enough like you can get away. We're out and watch the squirrels run around. Right. <laughs> so, uh, what do you think of the team so far? We were here Monday, watching a lot. You know, the pitchers out there uh, behind the batting cage, and I tell you, you guys look impressive. I don't know. Uh, I really haven't been watching. <laughs> um, you know, just talking and getting my work done. So, uh, um, but I know a few of these guys. I know we have some really good pitchers on the staff. Yeah. So, um, uh, you know, yeah. I mean, we we looked really good last year. I thought, yeah. I thought we had a good pitching staff. And, yeah. I mean, this is a tough league. Yeah. Uh, you know, it just it, it doesn't really get credit. I mean, I guess it does, but you know, if you're on, you get more, you would be considered a better player if you're on a mm -hmm. Triple A team. But I yeah. mean, there's probably a lot of guys here that could take take guys' jobs in Double A and Triple A right now. I mean, I know yeah. they could. But well, a lot of, a lot of the pitching staff got picked up last year. And one stretch right. is like every week another pitcher was going to <laughs> yeah. somewhere. So uh, but but Butch, that's, that's good. It means Butch is doing a good job. Yeah, Butch. Uh, was, you know, we lose one, he'd bring in one just as yeah. good, and the team just kept on going. Barely missed taking a championship. You know, by two games. Yeah. So it was it was a good year. Well, Kenny, I appreciate you coming along with me, and welcome back to the to the neighborhood, so to speak. And uh, you know, good luck this year. Thanks. We hope you hang around though for a while. All right, that's Kenny Rayborn, starting pitcher for the Southern Maryland Blue Crabs. And here's our next guest on the Southern Maryland Blue Crab Spotlight. All right, my next guest on the Southern Maryland Blue Crab Spotlight is my old buddy Eric Crozier. Eric, welcome back to Southern Maryland. Good to be here, good to see you. Last time we talked to you, you were on your way to Bowie. We were out there all sad and like, oh man, he's leaving all that stuff. But now you're back. Now I'm back. I guess I guess I just can't stay away. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> we're always glad to have you. But uh, you were here for season one, and you're here for season two. Then you got signed by Bowie, and uh, you went up there for the rest of the uh, rest of the '09 season. But now you're back in Southern Maryland. How come uh, Bowie didn't keep you? Because you weren't there for the entire season, but you still led the team in home runs. Well, I think it's just a, a situation when you're a free agent. Um, sometimes you're you're there for maybe a need they have to fill at that moment, and you know they had a lot of good players behind me, and they had a couple in front of me. So you know their message to me was, you know, the at bats just probably won't be there. Mm -hmm. So you know, knowing that, uh, I guess when you want to play, you know, you're not just satisfied with maybe just having a uniform and, and sitting and watching. So mm -hmm. you know, uh, no other offers came this off season. You know, there was an interest from Japan, mm -hmm. uh, but it just never panned out. Yeah. And now I'm back yeah. in uh, Southern Maryland for a uh, third season. Yeah. Well, I hope you'll be hanging around this time so you can you know, get another full season with us. Because uh, last year, you know, two two wins from taking the whole title, you know, it was, it was so close. And uh, who knows, if you had been here, maybe that would have been the one to get us over the top. Uh, you know, I watched some of those games. That, you know, the one good thing that Butch does a, a great job of is, you know, we lost a lot of guys last yes, year. Did. And he seems to just replace um, with guys who step right in and they just fit, gel to uh, the, the thing that he's trying to do. And, you know, that was just, it was evident. The games that I came out to watch afterwards, um, 
it was just a good product on the field, and, yeah. they, and they looked like one working machine. All right. Well, we lost so many pitchers, but every time we lost a pitcher, Bush brought in another one of equal, uh, I'll say equal value, equal but value. and uh, they never, never lost stride. Just kept that's on going. True. And that's what's important, especially when the the Atlantic League, because you're, you're going to lose players yeah. all the time yeah. because you know we're a holding ground for not only Major League Baseball, but international baseball as well. Yeah. And um, if guys have an opportunity to move forward to another level in their career, they're going to take that opportunity. Yeah. I tell you, we were out here the other day watching uh, the first workout. And it, this has got to be the tallest team that this club has had. I mean, I'm looking up at everybody. <laughs> you are telling me my 6'4 <laughs> is middle of the road now yeah. because we have... 6'7", six, 6'10", six, I said, are, are we the Lakers? That's yeah. what I thought, you know, are we a basketball team? Because yeah. we have guys that are just tall, so I want to know where they're going to find the pants to fit these guys. <laughs> or who's going to hit their head coming out of the, ball, Some, the dugout? Something, but you know, it's, it's really good just to see, you know, new faces and, and guys who just have come right in. And, you know, it seems like everybody knows somebody from mm -hmm. some different crossing in life. So yeah. that's been great. Yeah. You know, it's just not an awkward feel. Uh, you don't find just clicks just all over the field. You find just guys just mingling and, and getting to know one another. Right. Now, you've only been together a couple of days now. Do you, do you, can you Could you pick anybody out in the lineup and say, well, that's so-and-so? Uh, maybe two or three. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I'm, I was upset that this function we didn't have name tags on because yeah. I was going to take advantage of that opportunity myself. Yeah. Well, I've got everybody's uh, resume off the, or the website in here, but I, I could just stand right here and not pick out very many. It, it's tough, but yeah. I'm pretty sure maybe after a week or so, I, you know, it will be better. Yeah, well, I'll get to know everybody after we do interviews with them. So that's, that's about the only time I get to know any who, it, who the people are after I interview them. So, but awesome. uh, yeah, it's, yeah, I'm look, really looking forward to a, a good year for you guys. Hopefully, uh, you know, they won't get picked apart like they did last year, even though Butch did an amazing job, you know, full you know, filling the spots, but, you know, we hope everybody leaves us alone this time. Well, you know, uh, it, as fortunate as that would be in, in, in one aspect, I mean, you know, the other aspect is we all play this game, you know, at this level to further our careers. Yeah. And, you know, if something does happen where, where guys leave, you know, we just we just have to, to make the most of that and, and try to bring in an equal guy yeah. of value to our uh, to keep it moving but you know it's tough especially when you lose guys who have a great personality as mm -hmm. well as great talent yeah um, because personality is something that you can't replace yeah you are who you are i tell you just just looking around the, the pitching staff looks amazing oh i tell you what we faced them the last two days and we have some guys who throw the ball pretty hard yeah yeah i was back there looking at it like holy cow yeah I don't, <laughs> it was cold yesterday you just didn't want to swing the bat yesterday yeah. so well, i wouldn't have wanted to be the catcher catching the ball yeah and and you know i've been impressed with the guys that you know uh butch kept through the the train the tryout camp yeah. that he had this weekend because yeah the local the, local guys the local guys because yeah. you know they're um they're awesome as well, yeah. and I can't even imagine what it's like to to go from playing college ball into an, an arena of professional baseball. Mm -hmm. And you're you know you're with a guy like John Halama, you have to yeah. catch him, right. and he's got nine years in the big leagues. Right. You've never caught anybody like that in your life, but yeah. the catchers just seem to um, they're just doing a great job. Yeah, Jason looked like he was hanging in there pretty good I'm for. You know, you, he's the smallest guy at, uh, I, at I spring training, in, but. I was impressed with his at-bats against Halama yesterday. Yeah. He actually got a hit in one oh, of yeah. them, and he's just a tough, scrappy guy. Yeah, we inter interviewed him early. He he's, uh, looks like he's ready to step yeah, up. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. I like that. Yeah. Well, Eric, thanks again for coming on the show. Thank and, you. Uh, Thank Hopefully you. we'll meet again. Yeah, you know, <laughs> hey, I was going to get him. He didn't do it that time, so that was good. He's All right. a great man, and, and <laughs> you know, I just like that. Oh, okay. All right, I thought you were talking, talking about me. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Give me a, a bigger size hat. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, here's our next guest on the Southern Maryland Blue Crab Spotlight. All right, my final guest on this edition of the Southern Maryland Blue Crab Spotlight, as always, Butch Hobson, number one coach in the Atlantic League. Well, I appreciate you saying that. Thank you. Very kind. You're welcome. Thanks for coming Good back on the you, show. You're welcome. All right. 2010, the third year of existence for the Blue Crabs. A big, uh, big turnover in the in the clubhouse. Yeah, you have you have turnover in in, in independent baseball. Um, 
you know, most of the turnover was due to the fact that some guys decided that they didn't want to play anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, we did do some things via, via some trades. We did move some people to some different places. Um, but that's what happens in independent baseball. You know, every two years you you shuffle things up a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, well, why do you do that when you almost won the championship? But it's the way I've always done it. Yeah. And I'm not going to change what my philosophies are. Yeah. Uh, but we do have a lot of new faces. We brought in a lot of new faces last year when we lost a lot of people. Yeah. Um, and that just comes with being a part of independent baseball. Yeah. So I know we were here uh, the other day for the first workout and just watching the, the pitching staff out there, the pitching staff really looks impressive this year. Yeah, we've got, this might be the best group of, of good arms. Um, that I've ever had in, in a spring training camp. Yeah, so I know uh, watching them pitch yesterday, I was really impressed with them. And then when we were leaving, we looked over and there's John Halama yeah. thrown in the bullpen. It's like, yeah. man, this is going to be a great pitching staff. You know, it looked great to begin with. And then uh, right. we saw John Halama back. Yeah, well, John, you know, um, unfortunately got released by the Brewers. They took him to big league camp and just didn't have a spot for him. And, you know, I talked to him about three weeks ago and he said that, you know, if, if I play independent ball, it'll be with you. Yeah. And he called me on Monday and said, you got a spot. I said, yeah. yeah, get here. <laughs> well, actually, I think it was Saturday Yeah. during the tryout. Yeah. Yeah. He called me and said, uh, he said, if you got a spot, I want to come pitch. And I'm not, I'm not going to say no to that. Yeah. Was, what was he, eight, he was 8-1 and one when he left last year? He was 8-1 and one when he left last year. He was 6-0 and oh when he left the year before last yeah. year. Yeah. So he's always welcome. He's, you know, he's a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a consummate professional. Yeah. I know it's gonna just take, a professional. It's going to take me a while to get you uh, to learn everybody uh, new this time. Probably by you know doing the interviews, I'll, I'll get to know some of them. But yeah, you know, I, you know, we, we always set out to get bring in quality people. I think we've done that again. Yeah, uh, we're not always right, um, but you know, guys going to spring training with not knowing what to expect. You know, I haven't told everybody their roles yet. Yeah. Um, but that comes, that comes when we get ready to start the season. Yeah, uh, I know, uh, I think it was just two players. I know uh, the Shanks and Jeralaman went to York. Shanks and Jeralaman went to York. Chuck wanted to play shortstop every day. Yeah. And he needed to play shortstop every day. Yeah. And, and you know, we, we, <laughs> we, you know, because I do the player stuff for York too. Shanks was a good fit over there. He knows Polanco. He knows that. So that ballpark is going to be really good for him. Yeah. We we wanted to build that club to be a contender in that, that division. Yeah. And uh, we've done that. Yeah. And they got a good ball club over there. Yeah. They may they may be the ones that y'all are competing with. Uh, well, for the, for the title. Uh, well, you know, hopefully with, that's who we'll play in the championship series. Yeah. <laughs> well, we don't want to talk about that. That's that's a long yeah, way off. We don't we don't want to rush the season. Well, you <laughs> still got it. You know, you 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 go into this to day one with the with with plans on how you're going to get to the yeah. championship. Yeah. Um, so yeah, not no, not that we talk about uh, who we're playing or or this or that. The goal is to get there. Yeah. Uh, I I don't see any reason why uh, you guys won't repeat. Because, well, baseball is uh, a funny game. You know, you yeah. can you can put you can put the club out there that can that that you think can't lose and they can get beat any day. Well, I know the. One thing I noticed after uh, Monday's workout was was done, the pitchers must be doing something right because there were a lot of broken bats in the dugout. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, no, actually that was from the tryout. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> those were left over from then. There were a lot of broken bats in that. Yeah, uh, we saw we saw a few of those go flying yeah. in the infield. We, uh, my, our pitching from from the five starters to what we got in the bullpen, I'm really excited. About. Yeah, and. Uh, Pitching and defensively, we should be very good. Pitching yeah. and defense is in the, in the long run is what wins for you. Yeah, and there's a couple of exhibition games coming up, and then uh, the start of the season is just around the corner, and uh, you know we're going to be here for all of it. Well, I know you will, <laughs> and we appreciate it, and the, the, the fan support here is wonderful. Um, you know, we, 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 we were up in our attendance last year. We hope to do that again this year. Um, I think we put a good product on the field. Yeah. It's a fun ballpark to come to. Oh, I, I love it. And, Beautiful uh, place. You know, it belongs to Southern Maryland. It belongs to the people of Waldorf and La Plata and surrounding areas. Yeah. Many of them that I don't know the names of. Yeah. Don't have a chance to visit. But it's yeah. their field. Yeah. And um, we we really enjoy it. Here. Yeah. Well, 
Like I say, we're, we're always glad to be here and always glad to see you. Good, man. So Appreciate it. Thanks, thanks for sir. coming out again, but good it, luck Thank in the you. season. Thank you. All right. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this show. We're leaving now with some footage from the uh, first exhibition game against York. So we'll see you next time on the Southern Maryland Blue Crab Spotlight. Just to keep them